Hey guys, what's going on? I'm uh, dropped the motor in just to do kind of a test run. Hopefully it'll be okay and I'll be able to keep it in and just put the shield and everything back together while it's in place. I built a, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's a bracket that I built for the actual car coil. It's just a piece of angle iron and a piece of the fence post and I bent it and wrapped it around and that way I can secure it on there. The hardest part about this is getting the pump and the motor to line up especially by yourself but what I did is just take a uh, ratchet strap and lifted the motor up that way it was kind of at a midpoint that I could manipulate it enough to get it all lined up so what I'm gonna do now possibly is try to I'm gonna hook a gas tank up I got the throttle hooked up and then I'm just gonna set everything to the side try to get it to crank and run and uh, see if I can make sure the hydraulics work because I've not uh, tested those out yet, so I'm, I'm not real sure about them. So I've changed the filter on the hydraulic pump and put new oil in it. Forgot to change the sump screen, so I'm going to have to go back and redo that. But I'm going to hook everything up and see if I can't get it to, uh, to run. Okay, I'm about ready, I guess, to, to test it. The way this whole build's been going, I really expect the worst every time that I, I try something new or every time I try to do something, so. <coughs> Here we go. bucket and everything worked. The, this spring, the new spring that I bought, keeps coming off every time, ow, that's hot. Every time I let the uh, throttle all the way down, so that's not good. I don't have to deal with that, but it turned right over. I mean, that was a, a cold start, so I'm going to move some more stuff out of the way that way I can kind of raise and lower the bucket and see where we are there Okay, that's good enough for me. Uh, the hydraulics seem pretty strong. Now what I need to do is go ahead and get all this put back together and get it wired in the way it's supposed to be. Um, and then I can take it out and uh, start sandblasting on it. As always, thanks for watching.